Hi! Good morning everyone! Are you ready to learn our lesson for this day? Our lesson for today is Materials that absorb and do not absorb water Materials that float and sink And materials that decay and do not decay As you can see class, we have three targets today now, let us first discuss the materials that absorb water and do not absorb water. Porous or non-porous. Why do materials absorb water? That is what we are going to find out in our experiment number one. Ang materials na gagamitin natin sa ating experiment ay fail with water. A piece of cloth, cotton, metal clip, hairbrush, and sponge. Itignan natin kung ang materials ba ay mag absorb ng water o hindi. First, So, as you can see, ang piece of cloth ay nag-absorb ng water. Next, cotton. Ang cotton ay nag-absorb din ng water. Next is the metal clip. The metal clip does not absorb water. Hairbrush. Hairbrush, hindi rin siya nag-absorb ng water. And last, sponge. Nag-absorb ng water. These materials that absorbs water are called porous materials. They absorb water because they have tiny holes or pores that take in or absorb water. The materials that do not absorb water are called waterproof or non-porous materials. These materials do not have holes that take in or absorb water. Is that clear, class? Moving on, let us discuss the materials that float and sink. Ang ating materials sa experiment na ito ay fail with water, Metal spoon, barbecue stick, aluminum foil, 1 peso coin, and plastic toy. Titignan natin kung ang mga bagay nito ba ay magpo-float or sink. Pag float, sila ay pupunta sa ibabaw ng tubig. Pag sink, sila ay mapupunta sa ilalim. Yung una, metal spoon. Okay. The metal spoon sinks. Next, barbecue stick. Okay. The barbecue stick floats. Next, aluminum foil. Okay, aluminum foil also floats. Next, I one peso coin. 
The one peso coin sinks. And last, plastic toy. It floats. Float means to stay on top of the liquid. Sa Tagalog ay ang paglutang sa tubig. While sink means to fall to the bottom or ang paglubog ng bagay sa ilalim ng tubig. But this is not the case all the time. Remember, number one, some materials do not float nor sink. It only submerge in water. Example of that is orange. Number two, some materials may float at first, but eventually it will sink as they absorb water. Example of that is a tissue paper. And number three, some sink very fast and some sink very slowly. So these are the things that we should remember in materials that float and sink. And our last topic for this day is about materials that decay and do not decay. Let us look at the picture. Can you identify the materials that decay? Very good! Carrots, eggplant, green papaya, and other vegetables. Materials that have the ability to decay are called biodegradable materials. Vegetables, leftover food, dried plants, and dead animals are examples of those materials. Sa Tagalog, sila yung mga nabubulok na bagay. Materials that do not decay or hindi nabubulok are called non-biodegradable. Examples are cans, styrofoam, and plastic containers. Importance of our lesson for today. Number one, porous materials help us in drying or wiping liquids at home. Number two, non-porous material protects us from getting wet. Example of those are umbrella and boots. Number three, materials that float help us when we are in danger like logs and life saver. Number four, we should separate or use different bins or trash cans for decaying materials and non-decaying materials so it will protect us from getting sick. We can put the decaying materials in a compost pit so it will serve as a fertilizer for our plant and last we can recycle the non-biodegradable materials into new other useful things so those are the importance of our lesson for today thank you for listening class i hope that you learned a lot for this day see you next time bye